This segment of Panther Sports Talk is brought to you by Lincoln Savings Bank. At home in Iowa, at work for you. The UNI football team dropped its first game of the year at home against the 14th ranked Montana Grizzly. 20 to 14, the final score. Coach, you knew it was going to be a tough non conference game. Did it live up to your expectations? And just your reaction looking back now that you've had a chance to watch the game film? Well, we didn't play to my expectation. I, I thought defensively we, we started slow. Uh, that first drive, those first two drives, and then really settled in. I thought played great defense after that. I mean, we, we, we were really well disciplined in our secondary and against a very good offense and did a great job, particularly at the corners and, and uh, Elijah Campbell uh, playing the safety. I thought those guys really were uh, went above and beyond. I was disappointed in, in our offensive production in the red zone. We had our opportunities, we had our shots, and we should have connected uh, more than once, mm -hmm. and we didn't. And thus, that was the outcome of the game. The difference of the game was the punt return. So, and, and you could say it was a punt return or the two field goals because we missed two field goals as well. So, you know, that part of the game you're frustrated with, but the other part you were you felt good because actually, as you watch the players, they played very hard, did a nice job, but we didn't complete the task. Let's take a look. Just a quick recap here. Montana jumped out to that early lead. Uh, Scoring with 8.20 to play in the first half, up 10 to 0. Momentum really turned in favor of the Panthers after a UNI fumble. The defense stood their ground, uh, stopping them on third and one, fourth and one, and then the offense, uh, nine play, 64 yard drive. Was that a big momentum shift? Something that you needed early on? To me, that was that was that was the beginning of, of, of a great momentum change because that was kind of the first thing that we actually started playing well. Crowd took over, uh, everything kind of started to go our direction. They were getting tired. We started to dominate the line of scrimmage and, and the pendulum really swung in our favor. Yeah, the Panthers offense marched down the field the next time but couldn't punch it in on the goal line. And I know you, you think that was real critical not being able to get those points out of that scenario. Well, it was at that time because I actually think that possibly Malloy scored. We were down there twice. We had the jump off sides to set us back. I think Malloy scored when he dove in there, put it on the one inch line and then not to be able to get that in is what will always hurt you but we still we went for it because i knew we if nothing else we we're gonna get the ball back because we we're playing good defense and i think we got the ball back at the 40 yard line got the field to field goal attempt then but we missed that field goal so we had our chance to score and yet we still had a chance to get our three points within six plays later and we didn't get either which was very detrimental at that time so a missed field goal and then an 81-yard punt return for the Grizz. Put them up 17-7 to with the lead. How, how big were special teams in this game and the outcome? It was a difference in the game. It was a difference. Uh, uh, we lost our long snapper in that, in that first, in that first uh, kick uh, going down the field. So, and then uh, uh, Dobernecker did a nice job coming out and snapping for us. But those things are timing issues. Mm -hmm. And so you look at those things and... You don't want to make up reasons, but there are factors in the game that you have to consider. And you know, we didn't we didn't connect where we needed to connect, and and the return or the field goals. You win nearly every statistical category. You have a chance to win it in the final minute. Um, but again, the Grizz does come out with a victory. How do you build off this? Because this week you're going on the road to a very tough non-conference opponent yet again. Yeah, the the thing to what what, what we told well I'll tell the football team is basically is if you go back and watch the film. You can't be frustrated with the defense because the, of, of the type of team we played and, and we, we kept them to 200 yards in 65 plays. That's about almost half of what they were putting up last year and, and the first two games this year. Offensively, we put up great numbers in the rushing game, but you know we, were, we weren't consistent. And that was part of the special teams, the inconsistency there and the inconsistency on, on offense. And those two together kind of put us in that spot. So we're, we're in a uh, challenge this week because we're the road team, a very long road trip and a very difficult one because we play a great team and it's their first home game and you know they're a challenging team so there's a lot to be said for what we need to do this week but right now we just need to take care of today's practice tomorrow's practice and and deal with eastern washington on saturday all right we'll get more with head coach mark farley right after this here on panther sports talk <laughs> 